Hello. Uh, full explanation will be in a separate video, but here's a little thing to try if the messy fix didn't work quite as well as you were hoping it was going to. Um, as a few shout outs to people, that's in the description below. Um, there's going to be quite a lot going on. If you're an IT professional, then you'd have been screaming up the screen when you saw my messy fix. If you're a home user, you're probably just glad that Windows Update works. <laughs> um, I don't know everything about computers. Um, I do know quite a lot, but thankfully there are people in the world that are um, very much an injury when it comes to this kind of thing. So here's uh, hopefully this will sort it out in an easy to follow way. So um, the first thing you need to do is grab yourself a command prompt and type in uh, reagency info like it says on the screen um, just there. Uh, notice on this one, it says global root device, hard disk not partition three recovery windows RE. Uh, that's because although windows RE is enabled and working, which is what has happened to a lot of you, uh, it is actually on the C drive. So I'll go to um, this PCC and with the hidden things available, you'll see there is a recovery partition there. Uh, so Windows RE uh, isn't using the, the resize partition, um, which is a bit annoying, but it, it's this will fix that. So you might be getting errors um, because it can't find things. Uh, it can't. And a lot of that's to do with, uh, well, full explanation will be in a separate video. But a lot of that's to do with the fact that WinRE needs to be able to access that particular folder unhindered. And using the main C drive has implications for that um, in terms of user accounts, passwords, disk encryption, that kind of thing. So if you followed the first video and then it moaned about not being able to uh, work, Windows um, recovery environment had a bit of a hissy fit about things, then try this. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use a program um, to correct it. But type in reagency disable and that will turn off uh, Windows RE. And then what you need to do is go to Disgenius, disgenius.com, search for it. Be careful because the top hits are going to be adverts, but that's the, what you should be looking for. Download it and um, obviously um, run it. And then when you run it, uh, Disgenius will start uh, and you'll see lots of information about all the hard drives and it will look a little bit scary. <laughs> But don't worry, we're just going to use a few clicks on it. So this genius will load up and here it comes. Uh, this is quite an old laptop. Um, but yeah, anyway, so here we go. And I'll just maximize that. So you're looking at the WinRE partition, which is what I labeled it as in the previous video. Um, and the thing here is that it's hasn't got the correct ID. So when you um, click on that, if you right click and then do modify partition parameters, you'll see there is a file system option at the top and there's a GUID at the bottom and that GUID isn't correct. So Windows RE doesn't use the partition and it reverts to its fail safe, which is the C drive, if it can access it. Uh, if it has issues with that, you get errors. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this program to correct that. And we're going to switch the GUID to what it should be. And the way you do that is you go into file system and you click Microsoft recovery partition as the option. And you can see that the GUID has changed to one ending in 6AC. Don't worry about the unique GUID. Um, make sure no drive letters ticked and make sure OEM is ticked because that's the, the proper parameters for the recovery partition. And when you've done that, you can um, click OK. And you click Yes. And now you have to click Save. Uh, and that is at the top left of the screen. So click Save All. Click yes to the next thing that pops up. Uh, and that will obviously write the information to the partition as um, as you want it to do. So you can close that. Um, 
now you can type in um, uh, reagency enable I'm just going to press upwards because it remembers the command so type um, enable and that will chug a little bit and the WinRE environment will kick in and what it will hopefully do now is it will use the partition at the other side of the C drive that was modified in the original messy fix video and it will actually then have a recovery environment outside of the C drive which is what Microsoft want. Um, it's not great. Um, I will discuss the implications of this in an entirely separate video if you're interested but by doing this hopefully when it restarts it should be able to there you go it's finished it should be able to now um, initialize the Windows recovery environment and it should work <laughs> so we'll restart this machine and see if it does I'm going to speed these bits up because this is an old laptop with a mechanical hard drive in it um, it's when I'm refurbishing and it takes a long time for it to start up so I'm going to run this genius again just to have a little look at that partition to see if anything has changed uh, I've also got a command prompt that I'm going to run as well so I'll um, sort that out now probably not a good idea doing it at the same time on an old machine but we'll see um, so this genius is loading and there it is uh, again it's a bit chuggy um, I'll maximize this if I want to get the chance as you can see it's spinning so um, let's just click that a little bit and um, get things a bit bigger so I'm now going to click on the uh, WinRE partition that I've labeled it and if you look can you see it's now got recovery and there's the Windows RE folder and it's got the um, .wim file and the boot SDI so that's now uh, Windows recovery environment is now using that partition rather than the C partition uh, the command prompt finally arrived oh turtles oh that's nice isn't it so um, they are cute uh, and we'll just have a little look and see what um, WinRE is doing so reagent C forward slash info type that in now it gets interesting because Here's sort of formal confirmation that it's working properly because we've got, yes, it's the same hard drive. I'll discuss that in the next video when I get the chance. But now it's on partition four, not partition three. So it's using a partition that isn't the main C partition. Uh, if you are getting problems with um, WinRE when you enable it again, saying it can't find things, it's usually because it can't access the C drive in the way it wants to probably because it's password protected. But again, I'm going to discuss all this in, in the follow on if you care about it. So hopefully um, this video will help you to um, fix a few little annoying niggles and you won't be cross at me. <laughs> it is a messy fix. Uh, if you're a home user, it doesn't matter that the WinRE isn't particularly working entirely as Microsoft intended. Uh, a lot of the time is if the hard drive breaks, you've had it anyway, when our isn't going to save you. But again, I'll discuss all those sort of things in the main discussion video for this, which will follow on. Um, liking and subscribing is appreciated. I hope this helped you with a few little nagging um, problems that you may have had with the messy fix. Uh, thanks for watching.